In 2010, an unassuming woman by the name of Grace Groner passed away at the ripe old age of 100. Born in rural Lake County, Illinois in 1909, Grace's life was a testament to resilience and simplicity. Having lived through the Great American Depression of the 1930s, Grace valued frugality. Throughout her life, she lacked a desire for materialistic goods and chose to live a life of modesty. She lived in a small one-bedroom cottage, didn't own a car, and bought her clothes secondhand at local rummage sales. Given that she had worked an average paying job as a secretary for 43 years, one could assume that a certain proportion of this modesty was imposed upon her. You would, however, be mistaken, as upon her death the residents of Lake Forest, where Grace had lived her whole life, were shocked to discover that Grace was in fact very, very wealthy. How wealthy? Grace had amassed a fortune of more than $7 million during the course of her life, a fortune she was now leaving to a local school to help young people get affordable education. How did she accumulate such a fortune? Well, it all comes down to one simple purchase and one simple choice. Grace and her twin sister Gladys were born in April 1909 in a small farming community in Lake County on the outskirts of Chicago City. At the age of 12, the sisters' parents passed away, and they were taken in and later adopted by family friends and Lake Forest residents, the Andersons. Grace and Gladys thrived in their new home, and they were lovingly looked after by the Anderson family. Their adoptive father, George Anderson, paid for both sisters to attend a private boarding school and later Lake Forest College. Grace graduated in 1931 and got a job as a secretary in nearby Abbott Laboratories, a medical devices and healthcare company. It was during her first year in Abbott that Grace made that one simple purchase that would set her on the way to becoming a multimillionaire. During this time, Grace purchased three shares of Abbott Laboratories stock at a price of $60 each for a total investment of $180. That's around $3,500 in today's money. It's what Grace did next, however, that ultimately resulted in her amassing her fortune. Every year, she reinvested her dividends, a yearly payout on the value of your shares. And as Abbott continued to grow and their shares continued to be split, a way to keep share prices low, her three shares grew into over 100000 and were worth a staggering $7.2 million by the time of her death in 2010. Her choice not to cash out her shares and to keep reinvesting her dividends came about by her lack of desire for materialistic goods. Her attorney and longtime friend William Marlette told the Chicago Tribune after her death, She did not have the material needs that other people have. She could have lived in any house in Lake Forest, but she chose not to. She enjoyed other people, and every friend she had was a friend for who she was. Grace never married or had kids and instead spent her life volunteering for local charities. Grace made one other choice before her death which would have a profound effect on many young people in the Lake Forest area. In 2008, she set up a foundation which would receive her entire fortune upon her death. The foundation's purpose is to fund scholarships, international study and service projects at the local Lake Forest College, the same college Grace graduated from in 1931, ensuring that thousands of young people will receive education and opportunities that they otherwise would not have access to. Grace is remembered and celebrated every year at Lake Forest College, and while some will say that Grace sacrificed living her own life to its fullest, the truth is that Grace lived her life exactly as she wanted, and in doing so, ended up leaving the ultimate gift. Thanks for watching.